So hey everybody! The topic that I chose for this week is what to expect on r and &R. One of the things that should be expected before, during, and after r and &R is first of all that it's going to be a roller coaster. <laughs> there are going to be times where your emotions are really high and there are going to be times where you're pretty mellowed out and things are going good. Another thing to expect from some people is some people are distant. I know for Russ and I, for his R&R, &R, it was our first time meeting ever. So at first, when we first met each other, we were a little bit distant, actually. It took us about a day to, you know, we were a little bit like hesitant the first night, you know, trying to get used to each other. But once we got over that, we were fine. That also happened the day that he left because it was halfway through his R&R &R that he had to leave. I looked at it as another step closer to going back to Afghanistan, which kind of sucked. And then, you know, again, after. So for me, I was a little bit kind of numb for a few weeks after he left. The reason it was hard for me after R&R &R was because... I had to get used to our new definition of I miss you. It took me a while after R&R &R to be okay with where I was at. It was hard for me to think about it and not get emotional. For a while, like I, I just couldn't um, allow myself to feel that yet. It was still very, very, it was kind of like, it was very fresh. I feel like that happens with a lot of people is, you know, a lot of people say that R&R &R is just such a tease. Um, another thing to also look out for that's going to happen is sleeping is going to be a little bit dif different. I know with Russ, when he came back, the first three nights or so, he was barely sleeping. He was only sleeping like a couple hours, and but he was still functioning throughout, throughout the day. And he was almost sleeping a little bit less than when he was over in Afghanistan. But by the fourth night, he was starting to get a little bit more a substantial amount of sleep. And some of the different trends that I've also seen in other milsos that I've seen, the different emotions they go through, it's totally normal. <laughs> I know that before I met Russ, the few days leading up to it was very, very, very high anxiety, and it just kind of all came to a head the day of. I was nervous about how our relationship was going to translate into real life. Some of the other thoughts that I had was, you know, is he still going to like me? Is he going to think that I'm prettier in person or, like, prettier online? Like, some of, like, the irrational stuff. <laughs> I heard, I've heard of some other military wives, even, who've been with their husbands for how many years still feel that way. Like, looking back at R&R, &R, even now, R&R &R is really just about a lot of readjustments. One tip of advice I can give during R&R, &R, to stay in the moment and be present in the moment. Take in everything that's going on around you because, yes, at some point he's going to be leaving, but that's not, you're not at that point yet. Right now you're with him. Being mindful, you absorb a lot more than happens, and it doesn't seem like just a blur. I can look back and, you know, remember all of those feelings and remember what was around me and what we did and everything because I was just in that moment not thinking about him going back because he was there. And that's really the most important thing that you need to think about while all of it's going on. I hope this video helped. So if you'd like for me to talk about anything or if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, all the links are down in the description. My Tumblr, the Millsill Tumblr, and any of us would be happy to answer any of your questions. I'm a very, very open person if you haven't noticed. I'd like to hear your perspective on how r, &R went for you if you've gone through it or let me know what's going on. <laughs> Alright, I will see you all next week and I hope you have a great week. Bye, everybody.